What was different about tonight's debate as compared to the Democratic one from Tuesday was the enthusiasm from supporters who attended. The auditorium was full and the audience was energized. Now we are in the home stretch. The money's been spent, the ads have been cut, your door has been knocked, and now the decision is up to you. Senate Majority Leader Garrett Mason attacked businessman Sean Moody while answering the first question of the night. Sean Moody has gone from attacking me to attacking the 12 young people that have come here to support the Republican cause. So why you would think I would single anybody out to not be, you know, cordial or respectful to them, it just is laughable. You know, it really is. I'm one of the most respectful people for young people, whatever you ever been to. Former Health and Human Services Commissioner Mary Mayhew delivered powerful responses to questions about firearms. When I was commissioner, I got death threats. And when I asked for uh, assistance with that, I was told it's not a crime. And I thought, well, at least I'm glad I've got my gun. And the evolution of her thoughts on abortion. And my 23-year-old son today was born very prematurely, weighed two pounds, nine ounces, uh, 12 inches long, and it dramatically changed my views on life, on abortion. The Mason campaign has been pointing to a 2010 interview in which Moody appears to take a pro-choice position. Tonight, he told us his response to that question eight years ago is being misinterpreted now. Well, I think what's changed is people taking things out of context. Your position has changed on, on the abortion issue. My position has always been pro-life. My personal position has always been pro-life. Mayhew was the only candidate who would not tell us a policy area where she differs with Governor LePage. Is there any issue? That, we asked the question because a lot of you are running on the governor's coattails. So is there anything where you disagree with them? You can keep asking, Paul. I think it's a ridiculous question. I'm sick and tired of it. All four candidates told us they believe health care is not a human right. None would commit to accepting the results of a ranked choice voting election. And Mason and House Minority Leader Ken Fredette told us they do believe human activities are impacting the climate in Maine. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.